I had no idea that I loved writing until I got on this poetry team. And I guess I asked myself, was I supposed to be on the poetry team? Was that what God had already designed or, or, you know, like what if it was a tennis team? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. But I'm just saying like, I was put on this team and through that, that team, I was able to develop a love for writing. And that's where I got the, you know, idea to write. And I remember I went to college for accounting. <laughs> um, but <laughs> which school? Loyola Marymount University. Okay. So I went to college for accounting and, um, you know, a freshman year, there was this kid that wrote a script and he dropped out and he, he sold his script for millions of dollars and dropped out. And I was like, oh. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna do the same thing. So I remember telling my friends, like I had this really, she's still my best friend to this day, but I remember I told her, I said, I'm gonna write a script and I'm dropping out of this thing. I'm not about to finish this, you know, four years of college, you know, if you could, if you could write a script and drop out. And, um, and I remember she told me, she was like, you, that is not gonna happen to you. You can never do that. You know what I mean? And she was like, you're not gonna be able to write a script like that, you know? And for temporarily that shut down my dream. So for the next four years, I wouldn't focus on writing at all, even though all of my professors were telling me, you're a writer, like this is what you need to do. Um, I just focused on the, the realistic dream because of that conversation, right? Can we stop there? I wanna point something out to our audience. Because you're 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 seeing such key things that I think affect so many other people's lives, and they really need to zone in on this. Number one, you spoke about being put into, into this poetry um, club. God, He has this thing divinely figured out, and sometimes we need to stop overthinking it. I often tell my audience, enjoy the process, just embrace it, because you don't know why you are put into the situations that you're put into and how it's going to come to be a benefit in your future. So that's number one. And then you said something that I always harp on. And usually it comes from people who we love, who we love and we know that they, that they love us. You said your best friend, your best friend. Here you are telling your best friend your big dream. This is what I want to do, and I can do it. If he did it, I know I can do it. Mm -hmm. And your best friend's comment, knowing she loves you, nah, that ain't gonna happen for you. You might as well finish up school. Actually set your whole trajectory back a few years when even the teachers, what was in your heart, you knew your purpose was writing, and you deferred that because of the comments, and I would say to anybody who is listening, when you find your purpose, sometimes, and Steve Harvey always says this, you can't tell big ideas to small people, not calling your best friend a small person, but people, they don't see your vision. That is why God gave you the vision. He didn't give it to them. You just gotta execute and make them believe. So I just wanted to, to kind of interject there because I think you're hitting on some key points that need for us to expound on. No, yeah, for sure. Um, but I ended up picking up my dream again. So I, after college, um, I went into accounting in the sense that I was working under- Was a that your major? No, so this is what happened. I went into college with the accounting major. It, accounting was disgusting to me. I absolutely hated it. <laughs> I, I switched last minute to human resources because I could We're back. We had a little technical difficulties there, but we are back. Andrew, you with me? I'm with you. So my power went out for some reason. I don't know what happened in the neighborhood, but you know, I'm back. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> no, no worries. And, and I know yeah. you got a dope name. Do, do, do you prefer Angelica or Angie? Angie is fine. Angie's yeah. fine? Okay. Let's go. You were talking about um, uh, 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 majoring in accounting and you really didn't like it. Yeah, I didn't like it. Um, so I graduated with a 2.8 GPA and I just remember after college feeling like, um, you know, 
I had no, the jobs in human resources, they took, you had to have all this experience, but I didn't understand because, you know, I was just <laughs> graduated with my degree. So it was almost hard to break into human resources because you needed so much experience for these positions. Mm -hmm. So I went back to accounting um, and started working under a CPA so I could get my, I mean, so I could get my CPA. Um, and so I was just at a dead end job. I think that going to work every day just felt pointless. Um, I knew that that wasn't my purpose and I knew that I couldn't do accounting. I hated it. I don't know why I went back to it. Um, and so at that point, I remember I just was like, you know what? I'm going to tell everybody that I want to be a writer and that's just who I want to be. And I don't care if I'll be able to make money off of it or <laughs> if I'm going to be able to be comfortable. For me, it was most important that I follow my dreams. Um, and so literally a week after telling everyone, my mentors, people who really wanted to see me be an accountant uh, or, you know, someone successful, um, I told everybody I wanted to pursue writing. A week later, my mentor put me in touch with an actress named Jordana Spiro who was writing a script. Okay. And so to me, when you talk about like things that I learned in life, that was one of the things that I learned, which was to, um, I'm sorry, to basically declare what I wanted to do because then people would connect me with people who are doing those things. Mm -hmm. Now, how long are you working at this accounting firm? Um, I'm sorry. You said what? How long were you working at the accounting firm? Um, I was there for, I want to say two years or a year or two. Two, yeah, it was it was about it was around like a year and a half that I was there um, because I had just graduated in 2012. I went there, you know, for a year and a half. Um, I worked there for a year and a half and I was unemployed for six months after college. So, yeah, about a year and a half. So, Started the shade room in 2014. Uh, but during that period of shade room, I just, I, I, I'm just curious because there's a lot of people who can benefit from this. They're sitting at a job that they despise. They know in their heart, I don't want to do this. This is at best a paycheck. And the pay ain't even that good. What was it that gave you the courage? What was it that, that, that thing that made you say, I'm going to speak out loud. I'm going to say, I'm going to be a writer. Even though I'm still here working, but I'm, I'm going to stop playing with this thing. I know I'm going to work every day, but I hate it. It ain't for me. And I'm just going to start putting out there to my friends, family, the universe, I'm going to be a writer. What was that turning point? Um, the turning point was the fact that I was unhappy and I felt dead. I felt depressed. And to me, it was not worth my uh, peace. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, and so I realized that I would be happier if I made less, but was following my dreams. And also, a part of, there was something, always something in me, because even, you, I guess you could say it started with that, that boy that wrote that script, that knew that there was a possibility that I could sustain myself with yeah. writing, you know? Um, and that possibility was worth me exploring, because in my mind, I was like, this is, accounting is always going to be here. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.